What follows may be perceived as some as a sad story of storm chasing, but it's really just the reality of chasing in a public facing position on TV. May 14, 2018 on the surface looked like a storm day which was pretty marginal in the region. While the instability was present, 4,000 surface cape, nothing to sneeze at, the shear was lacking. We were barely managing 30 knots of 0 to 6 kilometer bulk shear. For supercells, and especially tornadic supercells, we typically are looking for 35 or 40 knots and over. Basically, the ingredients were almost there for a supercell and even a tornado event, but they weren't quite yet there. What you look for on days like this during the peak of the season are outflow boundaries. For chasers, there was a super obvious target with that in mind along the Kansas-Oklahoma border region. Storms tried to go up in a region northwest of Arkansas City before finally a supercell emerged and produced a tornado in the afternoon. I'd show you the Titans chat from this day and how he all agreed that this was the best area. But you'd also see how we tend to prioritize other things other than storm chasing and you'd lose the carefully guarded secret that we aren't quite the most hardcore chase everything folks out there. Oh, uh, wait. Further west into Colorado, where the shear was better, Eugene was able to capture a long-lived supercell which dropped mega amounts of hell from the central part of the state down into southwest Kansas. This was a pretty impressive meteorological event. As for me, I was down here in Oklahoma covering storms for the Oklahoma City Metro. Not the most exciting, but I did get to see some cool lightning. So that's the sad story. Not a bad chase day for me, and a good forecast, but a missed opportunity, to be sure.